Good evening, you're joining the State of Business with me, Nishani Figuera. Let's first take a look at tonight's headlines. Minister of Ports and Shipping reveals reasons for losses at Hambantota bunkering operations. And all remaining vacancies in public sector to be filled next year. In tonight's top story, Minister of Ports and Shipping Arjun Rantunga says the bunkering operations of Magampura port is running at a loss. Responding to a question raised by Chief Opposition Whip Andrew Kumar Disanayake, the minister said the losses are mounting due to a purchase of a substandard diesel load in 2014, which was rejected by the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation. The Magampura port premises has 14 tanks and eight of those are being used for bunkering operations. The das da hatar vakshedi milliona ek das asu hatak the das pahalvedi rupeeal milliona tunsi asu vakwashen alab ganne dakviya heka. Meka pasugiye khalu dasa ke sidvim tamai me pinnum karan. Obatuma kiu paridi ma aperate. Kawara ayatnya ko tel mil di gini medi, ini sanda awatnya teriwitre yang sakat kru laban ni, kani tel ni tiga sahaja. Namu memat tel gini, ikat dolar mil na haya jasa mah haya kat laksa hatta haya kat asar na pramaniking tel gini medi, mewa adala teriwitre yang ta galipin ni nanti bawa tel sahaja wisin denum dim. Ese denum di tibi di tamai waraya kalaman akar na adyaksa malu. Ekan da ema mekat anu meti labadi tibi nama teriwitre yang nome tu uat. मैं तेल मिल दी गान न किया ला मम्मा उबुतुमा के इंतज़ार न करना क्या मति एवं ये तीर ने गनी मटर दाए को एक कलमना करना मंडले पिलिबंद हुए समुनांस के आरक्षण तेरे पीवर कवर ही दिखे शेष में मैं तेल संस्थावट आपु नेवक मैं तेल रिजेक्ट कर लती है ना ये तो पासे मैं क आपो यानगमन तमाई Magampura wara itu mereka laba agen dia ni. Ini mereka nusus itu tu, dia aku na itu, itu nanti kira la dia ni. Nau wala itu kahannya pulu am kira. Hebat ya, ada mana kanut? Apa itu mereka ikut nakan berwe la dia ni. Muka dia itu amat bahat tate telinga. Apa itu pahukie kali mereka ikut nand tender damma. Ada mana kanut apa itu dollar desiye kanut mereka ikut nakan beri tate kanut dia ni. The chairman of COP, JVP MP Sunil Handuneti, says they have information that plans are underway to replace the present Commissioner General of Registration of Persons. He said this speaking in Parliament today. Apabila dalam kanal ini bina, pujil India panjikiri me Komisaris Jeneral tu mahu, wenu wate wenat kene ekpat keran, jam kate utak kiri yang nama kira. Eka ada ada kan Cabinet Patrika wak dalat dia nanti. Muka deh eka, entaram barapat ada pasni aku ini, widut hendurum pata saman de pasni di, widut hendurum pata mudra ne keran, yana kender ya, hari tiak kiri muda dalat, rupiah hatalih ada dia nika, tora kena. रुपया असुवर दिए ना टेंडर या प्रतीक्षे पकड़ी में निशानं पुज्जल इंडिया पंजी में कोमसार इस्तुमा विवाद करने आने एक इच्छा बारह पत्र कारण है वाक मिनिस्टर पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन रंजित माधुम्बा डार सेस ऑल द पब्लिक सेक्टर वैकेंसीज विल बी फिल्ड बाय नेक्स्ट ईयर ही नोटेड दोस न्यू रिक्रूट्स विल और उधर का राज्य सेवे में विश्वास दाह की तरफ विश्वास में आया कि आप उधर विश्वास तरफ दाह की विश्वास में गया मैं आप उधर भी गाने के लिए तरफ विश्वास है दाह की विश्वास में ये विश्वास है दाह मधुवाग्य नहीं मिली अभी तो ये पीड़ित सगे ना बाला ने सिद्ध हुए ना अभी ये गलों ने आवास्ता हुए अभी भावुज्जली कर सेवे राज्य सेवे देखों भी आप तक रहने। Stay with us for more news on the other side of this short break. Welcome back. You're watching the State of Business. The immediate past president of Sri Lanka Ceramic and Glass Council, Mahendra Jayasekara, says the industry is struggling to find quality raw materials within Sri Lanka. Speaking at the 13th annual general meeting of the council in Colombo recently, Jayasekara said that the council is pursuing a workable solution with the authorities. We work very closely with the Minister of Industry and Commerce and conducted three major surveys in Sri Lanka to find new raw material deposits. Our industry is using silica sand, Felspar and ball clay as volume raw materials. And we had 
lot of difficulties in finding new deposits of these materials. We got the help of the Ministry of Industries, the government came forward with money and we also invested money in these surveys and we conducted three surveys to find new ball clay, silica and feldspar deposits in the country. And these surveys have been successful and we were able to find new deposits. Jai Sekar also noted that local red clay industry will prosper in future with the proposed banning of the asbestos roofing products by 2024. He also said steps are underway to introduce internationally recognized standards for red clay manufacturing industry in order to make it ready to enter the export market. Sri Lanka Standards Institution worked with the, the council and all the work has been done. The standards are open for public uh, comments. That period is closed and I think within the, the next few months, these new standards will be gazetted. So with that, I hope we will be able to keep to the promise that red clay industry will be ready to export by 2018. We also help the red clay industry to upgrade their factories by introducing new technology. We got down technical experts from Spain and Italy and also China to, to upgrade technology. And now let's take a look at some more stories in brief. IFS, the global enterprise application company, celebrates 19 years of existence in Sri Lanka this year. The company, which started with a small group of developers, has over 700 staff today and plans to expand its operations further. IFS has also implemented some of the largest IT infrastructure projects in Sri Lanka. Business Management School held its annual graduation ceremony at the BMICH last evening. This year, over 500 graduates and diploma holders obtained awards in business, management, human resource management and biomedical science. The graduation ceremony of CA Sri Lanka Business School was held in Colombo last evening. 118 graduates obtained their MBA and postgraduate diploma certificates at the occasion. After this short break, it's a stock watch. Stay with us for that. Welcome back to the show. Trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended in a negative note today with both indices recording losses. The All Share Price Index shed 1.16 points to close at 6,252.12 and the SNPSL20 Index dropped by 1.99 points to close the session at 3,476.54. The turnover was 110.5 million rupees and 5.3 million shares were traded. Up next are the day's forex rates. And now we have a look at this week's Dealing Room Update. The Sri Lankan rupee depreciated against the greenback this week. The rupee forwards were active on Thursday with spot next forwards closing at 148.65 to 148.75 per dollar compared with Wednesday's close of 148.50 to 148.60. It traded at 148.85 to 95 levels this morning. The forward premiums also increased across the board this week. The one-month premium was hovering at around 90 to 100 cents while the one-year premium was hovering around 10.10 to 10.40 levels. On the international markets, the dollar rose to an eight-month high against the yen on Friday as U.S. bond yields resumed their rise in Asia after the Thanksgiving break sharp markets in the United States. The dollar was up 0.3 percent at 113.710 yen after hitting an eight-month high of 113.900 yen. It was on track to rise 2.5% this week. On the weekly Treasury bill auction held this week, the three months rates stood unchanged from last week, while the six month and one year rates increased by six basis points and five basis points respectively. Accordingly, the three month rate was at 8.60%, while the six month rate was at 9.71%, and the one year rate at 10.25%. Overnight call money and repo rates were stable this week. The call money rates trading around 8.44 to 
to 8.45%, while the overnight repo rates trading around 8.49 to 8.50 levels this morning. The liquidity in the market was at a deficit of around 23 billion rupees on Thursday. The Treasury bond rates in the secondary market reduced this week as a result of increased demand. The 10-year bond maturing on the 1st of August 2025 was trading at around 12.50 to 12.65% this morning. And that points up the show for the week. Join us again on Sunday at 7pm on the Biz Roundup. Until then, thank you for watching. Have a good weekend.